There's a fashion show coming up in October, and as a guy of high fashion, of course, I will be there. The woman who puts it on, Michelle C. Witten from the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. Good to see you. Good to see you, John. All right, now, we've done this a few times. You yep. and I both have children with Down Syndrome, yep. and it has rocked our world. It has mm -hmm. been emotional, it's been difficult, and it's also been really fun. I yes. mean, I never I never knew that I, I I've, I've got a, I've got a, fraternity brother I never had before yeah. you know so it, it's it's a party and yours Sophie is now 12 yes yeah, Sophie well? is 12 just started middle school it's a little bit challenging but she will get there she will get there yes what drove you into this last mm -hmm. time we talked we talked about the process of what it was like mm -hmm. when you were pregnant and you found out yeah. your child was gonna have Down syndrome sure. and all the pressure was you know, well right. We took care of that. We tested yeah. it. You know, you've got a kid with Downs. Sure. So therefore, you know, there's nothing else to do. You terminate the pregnancy and, and you move on. You chose a different path. Why? Yeah. Well, I think that everybody is unique. And if you think you know what you're going to do ahead of time, you probably should think again. Um, I'm personally pro-choice. Of course, Global Down Syndrome Foundation is pro-information. We don't take a stand uh, either way. Um, but after Tom and I thought about it for all sorts of reasons, we continued with the pre pregnancy and we never looked back. And you know, part of it was that, you know, I love my husband, he loves me, this was our kid, and we met some kids with Down syndrome and we were like, well, we could do this. Yeah. You handled it so much better than I did. <laughs> I lost yeah. my ever-loving mind. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, this, after losing a child before, I was sensitive well, to this yes, stuff. And, definitely. And, you know, I looked at the health issues, I looked at the developmental issues, sure. I thought, oh my God, this is, this is gonna, you know, this is gonna be awful. My man, he is having the time of his life. Life yeah. is a party for this guy. I mean, yeah. he's, he's the most Buddhist individual I know. That is, yeah. when times are good, they're good, and something's bad, it's yeah. awful. He is in the moment. Yes. Um, what's the biggest thing you've learned mm -hmm. throughout all this? Well, I think, you know, from Sophia, we've learned a lot of things. You know, I, I often, I think I might have been a, 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 an intelligent snob uh, before I had Sophia, you know, being half Chinese and half Italian and, you know, immigrants and, you know, read, work read, hard, math, do it. Math, 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 math. What do you mean math, you got math, one wrong? Math, math. No, no, you know, it's like, and you were always screwed. You know, it's like, why did you get that wrong? Like, this would be the conversation. It's like, you can either say it was careless you're punished, or you can say, I didn't know it, you're punished, right. <laughs> so it didn't matter. So I think, you know, the idea that there's beauty and wisdom and there are many different intelligences and there are many different beauties, um, I think that's something that we learn all the time from Sophia, and I think it's not just us, it's her teachers, her friends, her community, the impact is just fabulous. You built this wonderful organization that not only helps with a lot of other terrific mm -hmm. organizations, but actually works more on the science mm -hmm. of Down syndrome. Sure. What exactly does Global do? What, I yes. mean, if you could encapsulate it, what does sure. it do? So Global Down Syndrome Foundation focuses on research and medical care towards benefiting the lives and improving the lives of people with Down syndrome. Those are our key focuses. If we had our children 50 years ago, well, yeah. you know, their life expectancy might be about where they are right now. I mean, yeah, it was, exactly. really, it was exactly. really awful. Sure. Um, and now that has expanded to sure. something. My, and it's tough. My son's been through 13 operations, and yeah. it's, it's, it's been hard. That is First hard. one was open heart surgery at a mm -hmm. few weeks old. Sure. But lots of maintenance things. I don't know about yeah. Sophie. Mm -hmm. But things look good. Yes. And they look better than they've ever done sure. throughout history yeah. for kids with Downs. Absolutely, and part of it is really standing on the shoulders of the human and civil rights activists of the 60s and 70s that got our kids out of institutions. When they were in the institutions, they didn't get medical care. And then they died, you know, tragic early deaths. Today, no, let, me, let me jump yeah. on that because yeah. this this is mind blowing for me. Yeah. My son yeah. has friends in school, yeah. what we now call typical because kids, we're all yes. PC and I hate that stuff. But they're regular <laughs> kids, yeah. and you know he's not in an institution. They're yeah. learning from him. He's learning from them. Absolutely. But just a few decades ago, even two decades ago, mm -hmm. he would have been in a box someplace, and nobody yeah. would be there to to see this. Right. Now he has has a life, yeah. uh, and so the research you do mm -hmm. helps helps yeah. him and kids oh, like yeah, ours. Definitely. I think the medical care that we do at the C Center at Children's Hospital Colorado is life changing and life saving. And then the research, the basic research, if you don't know that people with Down syndrome are all going to get a pathology of Alzheimer's and 50% will get dementia, you kind of need to know that. If you don't know that um, kids with Down syndrome are protected 
from solid tumor cancers, a lot of them, and, and probably will never get a heart attack or a stroke, you need to know that. But the scientists need to know that to understand how to better improve the, the lives and the health of people with Down syndrome, but millions of others who suffer from Alzheimer's or uh, cancer or autoimmune disorders. Those are the three big ones. Uh, let me see if I can get this into yes, focus. Yes, yes, it's a lot, it's this, a lot, yeah. This scares the hell out of me. Yeah. I'm glad that my son is going to live longer than he ever would have any yeah. time in history. Yeah, it's around 60 now, yeah. But his chances of getting Alzheimer's and dementia are remarkably high. 50%. Fifty yeah. percent. Yeah. And some of these signs could mm -hmm. start in his later teens. Mm -hmm. I mean, this could happen yeah. in, in six years for him. It could, although generally it's 30s and 40s, which but is still early. Which is, is still early. early. Yes. And yeah. And you're trying to do something about this. What exactly? Absolutely. Well, through the research, um, you know, we can identify targets. Why is this happening? And maybe even treat those targets with drugs and improve the outcomes for the people with Down syndrome and people with Alzheimer's. So the basic research in coordination with the medical care, because they have to work together, is really important. And so the Cernic Institute not only does basic research on a lot of different diseases and just looking at people with Down syndrome and cognitive and health issues, but we've also invested through the Cernic Institute into the first Alzheimer's Research Center in Colorado. In fact, it's in the first in a 600 mile radius and it does research and medical care. So we're also going after that space and it's really exciting and and it's rewarding, you know, working with the people with Down syndrome, working with the people with Alzheimer's, it's very rewarding. And there's an overlap here. So even if you don't know anyone who has Down syndrome, mm -hmm. there's something in here for somebody you love, which is a lot of the findings mm -hmm. from Alzheimer's and dementia research mm -hmm. could, could help everyone. Absolutely, and we've just hired this genius young scientist. Young is 44, I, I was like, Anything. He's, I was like that's, Anything younger that's, than me young? Is young. that's young? I was like, all right, scientists are different, but a young scientist at 44, his name is Dr. Joaquin Espinosa and he is one of the nation's Joaquin, Joaquin, Joaquin Espinoza and he's one of the nation's He's Asian, leading. isn't he? <laughs> well, no. No. <laughs> no. No. So, um, but he's from Argentina and he um, is one of the nation's leading cancer scientists. That's how he got involved. We wouldn't have been able to recruit him. You know, he had all the money, he had all the prestige, he didn't need us, but he got intrigued with the science and the fact that um, people with Down syndrome, it's very rare. They, they almost never get breast cancer. They almost never get a lot of solid tumor cancers. What's being protected you know, by having that third chromosome 21? And then certain leukemias, unfortunately, much higher incidence. So what's going on with that third chromosome that is then leading to higher incidence in early ages of leukemia? So he thinks we can actually come up with certain therapies or really unlock things for cancer by studying people with Down syndrome. So it's just fascinating. But at the end of the day, the people with Down syndrome first, <laughs> Everybody else second. <laughs> <laughs> Save and, our kids. Yes. And, Save our kids. And, and, and well, it's also a tough thing because kids. they're saved. They need yeah. to they need to reach their potential. Right. And it's it's tough. Yeah, listen, yeah. I already have Alzheimer's. I've always had Alzheimer's. <laughs> I can't I can't remember crap. Okay. All right. So Is yeah, that why you're losing that's your why hair? I'm losing my hair. <laughs> I, got you it got it in. I got it in. I knew you get it. I got in. the ball joke in. <laughs> okay, so, great. Yeah. When when my son is yeah. really dealing with this stuff, yeah. hopefully I'll still be around, yes. but I won't have the energy. I might not have the mental capacity to take care of him mm -hmm. the way he, he should. These mm -hmm. these are the things that terrify parents Absolutely. with special needs kids like, like ours. Yeah. So give me, give me yeah. a glimmer of hope here. Yeah, the glimmer of hope is we are focusing on adults with Down syndrome, a world-class medical care center, but that also works to convene and do programs and health and work with community center boards in Colorado and kind of use it as a template to move into other states and also into other countries because, man, some yeah. other countries really need help. And that's why everybody should support the fashion show. Yes. That was a right. wonderful segment. Yeah, I love that. That's what we call a segue. Nicely okay, done. Okay, all right. All right. Yeah. So you've got this, this, this big organization yes. and everybody has a dinner. Yes. The Independence Institute, we do yes. a dinner. It's a wonderful time. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. well, okay. because there's, there's booze, <laughs> a lot of booze involved. Oh, well, that's involved. okay then. I, the dinner wasn't exciting. Yeah, okay. and we, yeah. we get this because we're full of terrific organizations in this community right. as, as other, other places, mm -hmm. and they're all well-deserving. You guys came up with a different idea for a sure. fundraiser. Um, yeah. Tell me just a little bit about this. And I've, I've only been to one, but yeah. it was a rip. It is a rip. Um, so essentially, we wanted to put a whole bunch of paradigms on its head. You know, we wanted to make the person with Down syndrome like the, the focus of the event. So they are the models 
really top-notch fashion Models. show. Fashion show with Hollywood celebrities and local sports celebrities. We've got Nuggets, we've got Broncos. This year we have Bo Bridges and Terrence Howard and Minka Kelly, who is, wow, she's exciting to look at. And, you know, is, more. Is that what uh, we say, exciting she to look at? She is exciting to look at. She really is. The idea was to have a fashion show yes. starring people, with with children, who yeah. look very different than the people you see in yes. in the fashion magazines, yeah. but in, yeah. but are much more yeah. beautiful. I was going to say, yeah. they look fabulous. They look fabulous, they but look it's fabulous. not what people are used to thinking no. of, here's, you know, mm -hmm. here are the models. Yes. And so you have what we think of as models. Yes. But they're the supporting staff. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. They're, they're the supporting staff. Yeah. The real stars of this runway show. Clearly. Are yeah. our kids like ours. Oh my gosh, Alec Baldwin was just like bowing to DeAndra. She she blew him away on stage last year. Alec Baldwin year. there. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, now he's trying to keep up with our self-advocate right. with Down syndrome. I mean, he couldn't keep up. By the way, the term self-advocate self is, yes. is is a term of art for people who have Down syndrome. Is that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We do we do use that term of art. Sorry yes. about that. Yeah. So, yeah. but it's Saturday, October 24th, and there are still tickets, there are still tables, and, and you can even volunteer. You know, there, there's so many ways to help. When, when I went right. to this, yes. and again, I'm, I missed last year, because yeah. Alec Baldwin was there. We can't be in the yeah, same room. Yeah, I know. The fighting exactly, would be bad. exactly. But when I went there, I was wowed by the size of it. I mean, this, yes. this was huge. Yes. And then I was wowed by the star power you had there. Yes. You, know, you had the Bronco staff, you had Elway, you had, Fox. you had Jamie Foxx yeah. there, you had uh, Quincy Jones there. Yeah. How, do, how do you get all these folks? Well, a lot of them are touched by Down syndrome. John C. McGinley has a son, Jamie has a sister. Uh, Quincy is a family friend, and when he learned that Down syndrome was the least funded genetic condition and he met Sophia, he's like, I'm all over this. Yeah. So then it's broadening that circle to people who care about human and civil rights, and that, that gets them too. Yeah. It was also how to put it. Unlike most dinners, this was flashy. All right, this it was this. A little flashy. this is, no, what do you, what do you mean a little, a little flashy? flashy. <laughs> a little flashy. It, it yeah. was star studded. It had a runway. It had the photo oh, yeah. ops. It, oh sure, it, it, sure. It had red carpet. Yeah. Yes, it does. You know, I mean, you know, I, I come from the East Coast. You know, want to bring a little zing to the, the the Mile High City, and I think the fashion show does that. But it also focuses on people with Down syndrome. And you know, people with Down syndrome are more alike than different. We say this all the yeah. time. They really are. People want to get involved real yes. fast. Where do they go? www.globaldownsyndrome.org. Globaldownsyndrome.org. We're there. Michelle, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Listen for me on KHOW Radio. Check out the Independence Institute. That's independenceinstitute.org. And we'll see you next week.